There is a possible end to the Wilk deal in terms of how we can get him. Hi guys and welcome to this video. If you could like, share and subscribe to the channel, I'd much appreciate it. Liking helps the algorithm, sharing gets in front of people's faces and subscribing helps grow the channel. And if you hit that notification bell, let you know when videos go live. Talking when the podcast is out. Every Tuesday at 5pm may be different this week due to the heat and stuff. Uh, we haven't decided what we're doing yet, so we'll see what happens. To be fair, I'm in this room right now and it's baking in here. Uh, so, according to um, whole, whole side, the whole side media, because Wilkes have fallen down the uh, line of players where he's going to play. And it's understood that a proposed deal between Wednesday and the player have been long agreed and the deal believed to be getting close to several weeks ago and Hull made it clear we would have to increase our bid, which we know. Their vice, but their vice chairman has also claimed there was interest from abroad for Wilkes, suggesting we may have to push him to get the deal done. It's one of those things where you're looking at it, they're, they're now trying to push us. We turned around and said... Um, we basically said what we said. We'll be respectful on it. They're, they're literally trying to get him sold. They're trying to get him out of the club. And they're make it, making it that we he's not part of our plan to issue from abroad. Now, it's kind of like this thing is going Wednesday, like saying to Wednesday, like, like when you buy a house, someone puts a bid in higher than your bid. So you go higher, even though you don't know what the bid that's gone in is. That kind of thing at the minute. And they have turned around and said, though, there is a possibility we could loan the player. Uh, to, to be honest, we haven't decided if we're going to do a permanent or temporary at the moment. We may l want to let him go on out, out for one year of football and then come back and see him again. Well, the thing is, you, see, you say that, but you extended his contract for one year. Then he's a free agent. Kind of thing. So... It, that situation, it just seems like they're playing silly beggars now. Uh, because at the end of the day, if we can get him in on loan, brilliant. Get him in on loan, have him for the year, possibly put a pre-contract in front of his face in January, say we want you, or just see what we can do. See, Because all the ideas I said, like maybe we offer this and then this, they are so adamant on this fee they want for him. It's ridiculous. I get it. They want to make a profit uh, on it because they pay 1.2 million. They want to make closer damages near that. I get that. But you've got to play who you said who's not going to be in your starting lineup. He put, he'd gone down the pecking order. You openly said that he'd probably got interest from abroad. It's that situation where you're looking at this going, it's, a, it's what they're saying. Do when did you put the money out there and buy him? Or do we say, right, we'll loan him for the year and then we'll get him in January? on a pre-contract and then get him on a free at the end of the year. It's an interesting one. Let me know what you thought. What would you do if you were Wednesday right now?